Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 48, editing pages in the new Power Apps Portals Maker Experience. As part of the shift from Dynamics 365 Portals to Power Apps Portals, Microsoft has been significantly investing in a new authoring experience. In this tip, I'll show you how to edit existing pages in the new Maker Experience. After clicking the Edit button on your portal, from make.powerapps.com, you should see the new Maker experience. To browse through your pages, open up the Pages area in the menu on the left. Pages are organized based on the hierarchy. Clicking a page in this menu will open it. If you right-click on it, or click on the ellipsis to the right of the page title, you can set a page as the home page, hide pages from the default menu, delete a page, as well as move pages around in the hierarchy. Once a page is opened, you are able to edit the name, partial URL, and the page template in the Details pane on the right side of the screen. The center of the screen contains the editable version of the page itself. You can easily edit existing text by double-clicking on the areas. This includes content snippets that appear on the page as well. By using the Components area in the menu on the left, you can add other types of elements, such as column layouts, images, iframes, forms, lists, and breadcrumbs. As you select elements on your page, keep an eye on the details pane on the right side of the screen. It will change depending on what type of element is selected. As you make changes, they are automatically saved for you. You can also click on the source code editor in the bottom right corner if you're comfortable editing HTML directly. Thanks for watching. And I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 48 on editing pages in the new Power Apps Portal Maker experience useful.